In this short demonstration, you'll see how we've added the ability to animate links on your Mimic inside of our new WebHMI client with historical links coming from our GE Digital Historian product, in addition to that of our process database from our real-time HMI server being iFix. In this Mimic you see in front of you, you see that you have animations that are driving real-time process values. You have animations driving different types of illustrations such as a fill animation of a tank. You also have it driving color based on the values coming from the historian, which are being stored, of course, by some real-time data source, such as iFix in this case. Inside of our model, I have exported our model that we have in this new application to a CSV format so that you can see that the configuration of certain displays or mimics around a finished water pump station asset or a displacement pump asset can be driven by different data sources. In this case, for the finished water pump station we were just looking at, you see that there are no real-time sources listed, only historical sources listed. This is what helps drive those animations. In other mimics, you'll see that we have real-time source sources listed to drive those types of animations. And you can have a mixture of both historical and real-time in the same mimic itself. Going back to our display here, we see the update rate is coming from our historian server. If I were to drive or navigate to another mimic or asset, I can select displacement pump 1A, and you'll see here that the value is com coming in from our real-time data source being that of iFix, as opposed to what we just saw with our historical references for the finished water pump station. If I want to show you a step further here, I can go into the administrative console and show you that the properties that are bound to this mimic are all historical properties, as you can see here, as opposed to the displacement pump screen which mimic, which I just showed you, which has real-time data sources, not historical data sources. So this was just a quick example to show you that we now can drive animations within your mimic from our GE Digital Historian. If you have any further questions, please reach out to myself, David Collard, or to your local salesperson in your region, and we'd be happy to discuss this further with you or give you a deeper level demonstration. Thanks and have a nice day.